What's up guys, it's Mike. Welcome back to the channel. So most of us want to achieve that elusive passive income. And as we know, the human race is very impatient. Most are simply not interested in making slow burning long term investments. Most people want to get that money right now. So instead of focusing on something that may take decades to work towards, we should talk about the best ways that you can begin to make money with $100 right now with the view to making as much money in the quickest possible time. So why 100? Well, 100 is an amount that is within reach for most people. So it's worth digging deeper into how we can invest that money straight away. And even though 100 might not seem like a big stack of cash, it's more the education and strategies that you can implement, whether it's $100 or $100,000. Because the strategies don't really change when you invest. It's really just adding zeros. So before we get into it, if you could do me a huge favor and smash the like button as it's a great free way to support the channel. Thanks so much for doing that for me. And if you want to see more videos like this, please drop me a comment below. Right, so let's get into it. So the first thing that pops into your head when you're investing is to invest in an index fund because the results are typically 8%. But we aren't here for the long term and the reality being that 8% on 100 bucks isn't really gonna make a huge difference. And there are better strategies out there that can get us a much quicker return. So if we are starting out with 100 bucks and your dream is to be rolling around that sweet stack of cash, the very first thing we should be investing in is your education. Now there are countless videos rolling around on YouTube that tell you the exact same thing that education is number one. But they usually have an agenda and are pushing a program or a course for 997 bucks. But the truth is that a good education can actually make a significant difference to your life and in return make you a large amount of money. Now these days you can pretty much buy anything that you need to learn and know for under 100 bucks or if you spend enough time, you can find it online for free. And these are the ones that I personally recommend. The very first thing I would do is buy the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is the very first book that I read from end to end. And right from the start, I was totally immersed in the information. Someone like me who had zero financial education from their parents, this is exactly what I needed to be able to learn how to be the type of person who attracts wealth and with actionable tips through the entire book. This book is also now considered 100% public domain, so it is completely free and I'll put a link in the description below for anyone who wants to take action. Now, the second book that I recommend is The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. The Magic of Thinking Big details how to achieve everything you always wanted, financial security, power and influence, the ideal job, satisfying relationships, and a rewarding, happy life. It teaches you how to set your goals high and actually achieve them. David Schwartz is long regarded as one of the foremost experts on motivation. This book will help you sell better, manage better, earn more money, and most important of all, find greater happiness and peace of mind. The magic of thinking big gives you useful methods and not empty promises. And it talks about the motto of believe you can succeed and you absolutely will. Now you can get this book for free with an audible trial, or you can probably get it at your thrift store or on eBay for under 10 bucks. Now both of these books are great education and will easily cost you well under 50 bucks. And I promise you that if you actually go through them end to end and take action, that it will be near impossible that these books don't pay for themselves a hundred times over the next 10 years. Now, the second investment that you can make with hundred dollars is with the share market. Now, if you only have a hundred bucks, then investing in individual stocks is the best way to go. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be saying that you can't get a decent return from the stock market with just a measly hundred bucks and that it's too risky to be doing individual stocks, you should be investing in index funds. But no matter how you dice it, unless you're buying the next GameStop and getting the timing absolutely perfect, investing $100 in the stock market is probably not gonna get you a big stack of cash. And even though I recommend index fund investing for long-term investing, if your only goal is to invest $100 with the quickest and fastest return as possible, then investing $100 in the stock market has a lot of advantages that probably aren't so obvious. So when it comes to the stock market, you can read all the books, study all the tips, but when it comes to your own money, all of that gets chucked out the window. You will find yourself with instant panic in the slightest drop of your stock price or getting way too greedy if your stock goes up way higher than you anticipated or even getting extremely frustrated when your stock does nothing and just stays flat. So you should be treating that $100 as your way of getting into the investing world and having a real experience with your own money in terms of managing your emotions and evaluating companies and fully understanding the fundamentals of the business on your own. And learning what all the stock market terms mean and getting yourself a real life experience education of what it takes to be an investor. I'm a very strong advocate for experience being the best teacher of all time. And you'll be so glad you had this experience early on when you did it with $100. It's going to be a lot more expensive later on when you're losing more money because you haven't dealt with the certain situations. Now, in terms of getting started, I would recommend using a free stock trading platform that allows you to buy fractional shares and then research the companies that you use on a daily basis. There is also a ton of free information on YouTube, Reddit, 
and many news sites. So try and absorb as much information as you can. So either way, it doesn't matter which platform you want to start your investing journey with. Your $100 and a weekend of your free time to learn as much information as you possibly can, it's really going to go a long way to give you a better understanding of how to invest and control your emotions. Now third, and again, if your goal is to turn your $100 into more money in the quickest possible time, and if you are willing to do the work, you could put that money into starting a service business. A service business could be lawn care, washing windows, washing cars, and then of course, knocking on your neighbor's door. Now even better, if you don't wanna use that $100 for capital, you could even ask your neighbors if you can use their equipment. Now I know it's such a cliche thing to say, get a mower and go and mow lawns, but the reality is it's a very viable way to make money, and this is why so many people are doing it. For example, if you could find a good secondhand mower on Facebook Marketplace or a secondhand site for 80 to 100 bucks, or even better, use your client's mower, then say you go ahead and charge 30 bucks an hour for your time, and within the space of an afternoon, that mower is completely paid for, and the rest of it is pure gravy. And this is the exact strategy I implemented at an early age. I simply started by asking my neighbor if I could mow their lawn. From there, I did a great job and just kept going down the houses all the way through the street, door knocking. It's also the same strategy that people like Warren Buffett used when he was a teenager, and you will find that many others also started the same way. The confidence that you will gain from speaking with people face-to-face -face and for getting outside and working will help you a lot as you move through your working life. So even though it's kind of boring and cliche to say, go and get a mower and mow some lawns, just try and think outside the box and get creative on what other services you could offer. It could be car washing, window cleaning, gutter cleaning. Just think of things that you could do with $100 and then simply just go and execute it. There is simply no other investment out there that will pay for itself over and over and over. The fourth is one that is often glamorized by so many TikTokers and YouTube videos, and that is flipping items. So the idea is simple where you could turn a paper clip into a small house. And I know you are thinking, surely this is not possible, right? Then consider the story of a lady who flipped her way all the way from a bobby pin to a small cabin. It can be done, it just takes 100% commitment to the hustle. Getting started is as easy as going to one of the many secondhand platforms and searching the free section. Just go out, pick it up for free, and then from there go on to clean it up and sell it to someone else for a sweet profit. There are so many items that are given away every single day. It could be as simple as a kitchen sink. Go grab it for free, clean it up, take a photo, and on sell it to someone else. The initial investment is obviously time, but it's straight cash after that. This is something that I have done in the past and something I teach a lot of people to go out and do and even go to garage sales and thrift stores for items to flip into profits. Now, Gary V talks about this a lot as a great way to make money for absolutely free. And the fact is almost everyone has access to make it work as long as you're willing to put in the hours and hustle. Plus another upside is the experience that you will gain in terms of learning how to value items and market products and how to work with other people and how to negotiate a fair price. Now, if you want to take this up another level, you could scour things on eBay that you find are undervalued. You can buy them, clean them up, repackage them, take better photos, and then on sell them for a higher price on eBay. Now, just be mindful that you're going to have eBay fees and shipping fees. But if you know what you are looking for, e.g. sports cards, there is absolutely a chance that you can make a few hundred dollars doing this. Now, on to number five, and the riskiest one of all, the one that everyone is talking about, and is one that scares a lot of people, and that would be using the 100 to invest in cryptocurrency. So anytime you invest your money, there will always be a certain level of risk and reward. And what this means is basically the amount of money that you could make is directly correlated with the likelihood that you might actually lose the lot. For example, if you throw $100 into an index fund, the chances of you outright losing any of that 100 over 20 years after inflation is pretty much zero. But put that same 100 into cryptocurrency and you could be making thousands or millions or have nothing at all. That is why the higher chance that you have of losing that money, the more upside there is to gains. And that's where cryptocurrency sits. So you always hear the stories about how if you invested $100 into Bitcoin in 2009, you would have $50 million today. And the fact is finding the next Bitcoin or Dogecoin or any other currency that would have this sort of return is purely just a stab in the dark. But if you are confident in your research of a particular coin or type of currency and you want to invest your $100 into it and it has a chance to do well, even though the risk of losing it far outweighs the upside. And remember, for every Bitcoin, Dogecoin and Ethereum out there, there's also a BitConnect. And that is a platform that went completely bust when it was discovered to be a Ponzi scheme. So make sure you do your research and you're confident with what you're investing in. And I'm sure over the next 20 years, this is really just the beginning. And even though the $100 to $1 million stories are anomalies, who knows what the future holds? So if you want a high risk, high reward way of investing $100 while getting the experience of researching different projects along the way, 
then crypto trading is certainly a viable option. So there you have it. There are my five ways. So really at the end of the day, those five ways, the best thing to be doing is investing in your education as this is going to stay with you for the rest of your life or be used to create a much larger amount of money to eventually have more of impact towards your goals. Spending your $100 on something that you can learn from that gives you a great experience with a high likelihood of making money long term. All of these options, in my opinion, are a great experience and a starting point. And really, no matter what happens long term to that $100, it's going to be a great experience and teach you many skills that will stay with you for many years ahead. So with that being said, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you're still here with me, if you could please go ahead and smash that like button. That's a great way to support the channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.